Before we get started, the candle of the evening is from Diptyque, and it is called Coriander. Coriander is the fragrance. The candle of the evening and the fragrance is probably one of the best fragrances in the freaking world. This one right here is a show of panty dropper, get the draws kind of. The harmonious hypnotizing fire will cause any woman in a 50 mile radius to begin immediately ovulating. Yes, this they should call this ovulation bomb. You walk by a woman wearing this and she's probably going to spontaneously get like six months pregnant. Yeah, so use it at your own discretion because uh, your ass gonna be in child support court. You gonna be baby daddy number uh, nine, I guess. Mm. Harmonizing, hypnotizing fire from the harmonist. All right. Guys, every now and again, a fragrance comes along and regardless of what's going on in the world, this is just one of those fragrances I got to tell you about, man. So, let's make it happen. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Darian, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on the channel. Where we talk about fashion, we talk about fragrance, we talk about lifestyle as well. So, if any of those things sound interesting to you, I hope you would consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as well to ensure you get notified anytime I upload new content on the channel. Guys, on today's video, I am going to be doing a review on a fragrance in my collection that immediately upon me getting this and adding it to the collection, it jumped into my top 10 fragrances in my entire collection. And that's really saying something because I have a pretty extensive collection of fragrances, but this fragrance is just that good. This fragrance speaks to me, it speaks about the things that I love in a fragrance and everything that I love about a fragrance is in this bottle. And if you haven't figured it out by now, which I'm sure you have because it's in the title, I'm talking about a fragrance from the house of the Harmonist and that fragrance is called Hip. No tizing. So we're about to jump into it, man. I have a lot of things to say about this. I'm sorry I took the suspense out. You already know that I love it. It's a stamp of approval from your boy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. But I want to tell you guys all about it as well. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this fragrance from the Harmonist, Hypnotizing Fire, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. Fragrance guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to go ahead and jump into the video. Before we do that, really quick, guys, if you don't mind, head over to TikTok. Follow me on TikTok. Also, follow me on Instagram. I will try to link those, my profiles to those two platforms down below. Uh, guys, help me out get to a thousand followers on over on TikTok. And of course, if you aren't subscribed to me on uh, Instagram, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram as well. I am the Bowtie Fragrance Guy on both TikTok as well as Instagram. I would appreciate you guys for supporting me in that regard. All right, guys, let's get into this fragrance. Hypnotizing Fire from the House of the Harmonist. <laughs> Sometimes fragrances and things come into your life that defy words, that defy uh, description, and that, to me, is what I have in this bottle right here. But I'm gonna try my best to kind of find some words to articulate how good this fragrance is. And let's first look at the presentation. It comes in a black bottle, uh, just like this. Now there's other fragrances from the collection. Some of them come in a, a white bottle. Uh, they have one that comes in a blue bottle, one that comes in a gold bottle. And they also have one that's in a silver bottle. But the ones from this collection, there are about five that come in a black bottle. By far, this is my favorite 
again, of all those, especially certainly from the black range of fragrances that come in the black bottle. Guys, Hypnotizing Fire. This is a very sensual fragrance. It's a very seductive fragrance. And again, I talked about this before, and when I talked about it initially, I said, if you think about uh, a fragrance like By the Fireplace from Mason Margiela, which is a fragrance, obviously, that I really, really love as well. Uh, definitely one of, my, one of my favorites from the designer range of things, one of my favorites from the Margiela collection of fragrances. This took that DNA to me and made it even better. I'm smelling the dry down right now on this hand, and... and it's so good. If you look at the description of this fragrance, it talks about sensuality. It talks about uh, the sensuality and the flicker of a flame. And that's kind of sort of what this fragrance is trying to convey and the feeling and the vibe that it's trying to kind of emulate. It's kind of putting you in that place and setting the vibe, setting the, seat, the, the occasion and the setting for a very sensual kind of encounter. That's what this fragrance is right here. Now, I heard people often say sometimes when you make a wish, a genie in a bottle, I think about that because these fragrances kind of remind me of a genie in a bottle. And this thing, I promise you guys, you put this on, it's gonna grant some of your, your, your best and most intimate wishes because this thing is hella sexy and seductive. There's no other way for me to really describe that. Uh, like I said, I mentioned this before, my guy Kevin Samuels, R.I.P. to the Godfather. Uh, this is fragrance was actually a fragrance that he talked about on the last video that he ever did. And uh, he talked about hypnotizing fire. And he said that this fragrance would come with birth control. And I agree with him 100% on that. Because it's that sexy. It's that sexy, man. Let's get into what this thing is, what's in it and what it smells like. So when it opens up, it has, it opens up with pimento berries. Now, pimento berries, another name for that is called allspice. And what you primary, primarily get from allspice, you get facets of nutmeg, cinnamon, and cloves. And when you spray this thing on your skin, I get facets of all three, primarily cinnamon, a little nutmeg, and just a hint of cloves is what I get in the opening, and that is combined with a very velvety, jammy Bulgarian rose. Now, you guys know that I love the note of rose, and it is hot and heavy in this fragrance. Um, as soon as you apply it, man, you get first hit with the spices, and right on the tail end of that spices comes the rose. I'm talking about like 30 seconds in. The spices are really prominent at first when you first spray it, but about 30 seconds in, the rose comes into play and it is absolutely gorgeous the combination of those spices with that note of rose now if you guys know anything and you like the note of rose like i do i understand that the bulgarian rose is the most seductive uh variety of rose that you can use in fragrances you have other different kinds you have rose de mai uh, you have turkish rose um, and some others as well but when you talk about sen sensual sexy seductive fragrances this uh the rose in this which of course is bulgarian rose is the most sensual of the bunch and it is perfectly blended in this fragrance with the spices in this scent now when it starts to get past that kind of 15 to 20 minute mark uh when some of more of the hearts and the bass notes start to come into play you get this smokiness that comes in from the use of opopanax so it's a slightly smoky uh, aspect that's running through the heart of this fragrance as well that kind of joins the spices uh, in the rose when it starts to dry down and that's when it gets really, really sexy. Again, smoke, but not overly smoky. Not like a smoky that you would find in like um, the Blue Beast. Uh, not like you would find in Interlude Man, which also has a pop and act with incense and stuff like that to make it even smokier. But this just has a slight bit of a smoky vibe that is coming from the use of, of Opopanax. And it is the perfect thing, I feel, to kind of take that level of sensuality and really give you that imagery of, you know, fire. It kind of gives you the imagery of fire in this scent perfectly, 
perfectly blended to perfection and giving you that whole smoky thing that you will look for when you hear the name in a fragrance like Hypnotizing Fire. Now to round this scent off, you're gonna get that, that sensual uh, nature that you usually get when you smell vanilla and fragrances. And the vanilla in this fragrance is very, 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 very sensual, but I think it's much needed uh, because when the Apopinax comes in and you start to get that smokiness that, com that comes into play from the use of Apopinax, you need that kind of vanilla to give that sweetness to this fragrance to really balance it out. And like I said before, this thing is perfectly blended to perfection and I love the way the vanilla provides that just amount of sweetness that you look for in a sensual or otherwise sometimes we would refer to as a sexy fragrance. And there's a lot of vanilla in this and it works really well with that smoke to kind of offset the smoke and the spices in the fragrance. And closing it out, you're gonna get some patchouli leaf. So it's more of kind of this green patchouli. I know sometimes patchouli, patchouli can kind of give a, uh, sometimes a kind of earthy vibe. And in other cases, it gives more of a, of a kind of almost chocolatey sweet thing. It depends on what it's used with and the variety of patchouli that's used. But in this one, you get that slight green tinge. And again, when you think about the smoke, you think about the vanilla, I think that little green, almost, almost earthy, but more green uh, hint of patchouli that's used in this was the perfect thing to use to kind of round this scent out, out and really give it that smoky kind of leafy thing. Again, because we're talking about the imagery that's being created here of a fire. Mission accomplished with this fragrance. And I'm telling you right now, it's one of the most sexiest, most seductive, best fragrances in my collection. Everything about this fragrance is right up my alley. Now, when it comes to cost, this fragrance uh, comes in a 1.7 ounce bottle. This is the only size and it retails for 225 bucks. Listen, guys, if you're ever in Atlanta, that's where I got my bottle from. Uh, hit up my girl, Sandra Rose, man. She is uh, just a class act. Uh, anytime I go into the Neiman Marcus store down there in Atlanta, she is, you know, the, the person that really takes me around and helps me out. And um, one of the best, most pleasant people I've ever come into contact with since I've been in this whole fragrance uh, community. Uh, working with her when I go to the Neiman Marcus there in Atlanta. If you're in Atlanta, go to the store, go to the Neiman Marcus, ask for Sandra Rosa, tell her, tell her that the Bowtie Fragrance guy sent you. Uh, she's the one that told me about this fragrance, and then again, I saw some other folks whose opinion that I value heavily talk about this scent, and everybody was right when they talked about how good Hypnotizing Fire was from the House of the Harmonist. Now, as you could, probably could imagine hearing these kind of notes, most of the fragrances in the Harmonist collection perform well, but this one definitely is no different. I get that eight to nine hours uh, out of the scent. Even after nine hours, you can still kind of pick it up slightly on your skin, but it performs really well on my skin, and that's always a bonus. As far as seasons, obviously, uh, this is one that would probably be better in the fall and winter, but it's not overly sweet or overly spicy or overly smoky where you couldn't actually wear this year round. So you honestly could probably get away with wearing it in the spring, maybe even summer date nights and evening times as well. But guys, if you like, the kind of fragrances that I like, this is one that you have to get your nose on from the house of the Harmonist. I had to review this thing. It deserved a singular review. This one is called Hypnotizing Fire. But all right, guys, that's it. That's my time, man. I hope you enjoyed this video today as I gave you my review of the fragrance from the Harmonist called Hypnotizing Fire. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time and attention to these videos. You guys don't have to watch but you do, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks that you think can use this information to find it entertaining. Cause I'm your boy, Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.